tougher than they really are. So waterboarded every day. Kind of toughens them up before the liberals dial in. The people need to be put off the air, man. 7-7 KKOB. I'm not a liberal. I'm a concerned citizen, motherfuckers. These goddamn conservative wackos. Give me the phone. I got to make a call. Okay, honey. Uh, born in the USA, it's her son, even though it's not really her son. I'm going to say yes, but no. We're in the court. Can't argue with that, can you? Fully fund missile defense. Yeah. Require tough enforcement of sanctions against Iran. Establish operational control of the border. Work with state and local officials to enforce our immigration law, strength, and visa security. Frank, you're on 770. Hello. How you doing there, Jimmy boy? All right, what's up? Uh, yeah, you know, I heard this uh, Republican pledge to America was written by K Street lobbyists in the Heritage Foundation. Well, they did a good job. Well, you know, I mean, it's just like, uh, just like Newt Gingrich's Congress with America back in 1994. The reason I don't believe a word of this Republican silver spoon trust fund baby pledge is it's because of uh, history. Let's take a look back at Gingrich's contract with America. I mean, most elements didn't pass through Congress, while others were vetoed or substantially altered by Bill Clinton, who took the call in at the contract on America. Because of all the uh, Tom DeLay types who were trying so hard to move all our jobs to Asia, the only thing the contract did accomplish was to pull conservatives into voting for Republicans. Yeah, that's pretty much the goal of today's uh, Republican Party. You know, get back to power while having no clue on how to fix the huge problems left by the Bush change disaster. Alright, that's old school. No, I was such a good caller to a KKOB AM 770 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, that they started planning their shows around my calls, using my voice for their promotions. It doesn't look like we are going to. That's somebody on YouTube claiming to be George Bush. Really? And now, a message from the president. Nationwide 
cases visibility uh, is nationwide and we're we're leading the effort to preserve their their asset value that they bought and it's being taken away by by one of the federal agencies congressman steve pierce is our guest uh, frank you're on 770 hello yeah, the Republicans are always bragging about tax cuts. A while back, you told the KLB listeners that the growing economy is paying for the war in Iraq. Would you clarify on just which growing economy you're talking about, please? I'm well, sure we uh, we had at that point uh, a good, vigorous uh, economy. Uh, it is definitely slowing. I don't know if we've uh, slid into to recession. There's a technical definition in, in Washington and in, in Congress that we comply with. Uh, I suspect we're going to slide into recession. Uh, there are still uh, strong evidences that uh, if we give tax cuts that uh, they're going to fuel the economic expansion uh, we have in our budget that was passed. I voted against it just uh, last week before we left Washington and uh, it had a $683 billion tax increase into it. That will probably uh, stick us right into a recession. Uh, different policies coming out are, are causing different things in the economy. Is this economy going to grow enough to, to fix the problems of Social Security and Medicare? Uh, not on the, the course that it's on right now. I mean, we must start getting a, a greater rate of return for Social Security. That's the great weakness in it. How do you do that? Uh, well, you can have investments rather than just putting it back into to the government. Uh, right now we're lending it back to ourselves, spending it in the government. The rate of return is less than 1% or less than a percent and a half over the life of your investment uh, for much of... Seven seventy. Hello. Yeah, my rage is against uh, Frank. I, it would be just if I could ask him to please either get a girlfriend or either get a job or both. But just I please. Alrighty. Oh jeez. Who's he there, Jeff? John McCain. American president Americans have been waiting for. I'm John McCain and I approve this message. One of the Twin Cities. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, is that useful to you? Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah. All right, we will continue with... Hi, uh, I got a message for everyone. I repeat this as often as possible. Those liberals should have their butt chewed off by a bear or a lion, a mountain lion, and uh, they should have to walk everywhere they go because they don't believe in oil. Thank you. Oh, self appointed idiot. Hey, you know what I hate? Is when you call into radio stations and if they don't agree with you, they hate. David, you're on 770. Hello. Yeah, my rage is against uh, Frank. I, it would be just if I could ask him to please either get a girlfriend or either get a job or both, but just I please. Alrighty. My wife was getting her dog's license. She had to get a new one. juices for so long. I just want to talk about damn health care and stuff like that. One thing that really upsets me and really pees me off is, you know, people that complain about what's going on and stuff like that. I think that you should really join the business. You know, it is not us health care providers that are, you know, that, that are cutting benefits and stuff like that. We try and try and try. And you bitch and bitch and bitch. Hi. I think employers that do not pay their employees should be dropped in honey in the desert, have a magnifying glass pointed over them, and be on top of a fire ant hill. Hey, Frankie, why don't you get out of your mother's basement and get a job? I know you have a job now. I've seen the job. But I'm going to tell you one more thing. The government's not going to take over your life. You have to grow your own and got to make it for yourself, Frankie. You know what you need to do is go out there and maybe get a job. I know the job you have. But let's go out there and find something else to do. Go out there and really, really work at it. You know, a lot of people out there have investments. They're not looking at the government. They're looking for their own self. I got some property investments. Jimmy's got some property investments. We're not looking for the government to save us. So you know what you need to do is get a real, real life. Get out of the basement of your grandmother or mother, wherever you're living, and get another job. All right, Michael, go ahead. I got it called in about health care providers are not to blame. Yes. I get sick and tired 
of these people that don't control their kids. You go. Hey, good afternoon, sir. How are you today? No, uh, not too good. What's going on? Well, you know, what, what really just hacks me off is when you call a company whom you ordered a product from. Hey, how you doing there, yeah. girl?